Good day to everyone joining us and welcome to today's X Talks webinar. Today's talk is entitled Confectionery Packaging, Meeting Consumer Preferences for Sustainability and Appearance. My name is Ryan Muse and I'll be your X Talks host for today. Today's webinar will run for approximately 60 minutes and this presentation includes a Q&A session with our speakers. Now, the webinar is designed to be interactive and webinars work best when you're involved, so please feel free to submit questions and comments for our speakers throughout the presentation using the questions chat box and we'll try to attend to your questions during the Q&A session. This chat box is located in the control panel on the right hand side of your screen. If you require any assistance, please contact me at any time by sending a message using this chat panel. Now, do know that at, at this time, all participants are in listen-only mode, and this event will be recorded and made available for streaming on xtalks.com. At this point, I'd like to thank Constancia Flexibles, who developed the content for this presentation. Constancia Flexibles is one of the world's leading manufacturers of flexible packaging. The group supplies its products to numerous multinational corporations and local market leaders in the food, pet food, pharmaceutical, and home and personal care industries. In recent years, the group has developed from a supplier with a strong European regional focus into a group that is active on a global basis with the world's most attractive and fastest growing markets for flexible packaging. Constancia Flexibles stands for premium positioning, leading technology, customer proximity, and high efficiency production facilities. Furthermore, especially the food-driven uh, with its 17 production sites, they guarantee that a market leader from Europe is just around the corner in growing markets to support customer needs. It represents 60% of the company's group sales and is a global player with a presence in Europe, Russia, USA, Mexico, and India. Now I'd like to introduce our speakers for today's event. Hi Kiman is responsible for the commercial segment lead confectionery of Constancia Flexibles Europe. Uh, she is in charge of all product activities on a European level with a focus on confectionery sustainable innovations. Before joining Constancia Flexibles, Man worked uh, for other global converters in the food packaging industry in sales for various food segments with rich international experience. She has a degree in business administration has two kids and lives close to Frankfurt in Germany. Frank Egger is responsible for the global product management of selected customers. In addition, he is in charge of all product activities around paper developments on a global level. Before joining Constancia Flexibles, Egger worked for several years as an R&D manager in the FMCG industry. He completed his master's degree in packaging and print technology at the University of Stuttgart. And so now, without further ado, I'd like to hand the mic over to our first speaker. Uh, Frank, you may begin when you're ready. So hello, everyone. Thanks, Ryan, for the introduction. Um, today, we would like to speak a little bit about the transformation of the packaging market. Uh, next slide. So we'd like to speak a little bit about change today. And first of all, to, to illustrate that a little bit more, we'd like to show a small little video that gives you a little bit background. And afterwards, we'll go into more detail about our packaging solutions. So Ryan, please start the video. This is our home, a beautiful place unique in the universe inhabited by millions of different species on land and water. Almost 80% of all species live in there. Threatened, like many terrestrial species, by the side effects of modern consumer society. More than 100 million tons of waste float in the sea today and spoil our habitats on land, piling up to gigantic garbage islands, mainly made of plastics. A great, and highly versatile material used and valued throughout a wide range of industries and thus massively contributes to the global waste problem, a situation which might have been avoided if more plastics were suitable to be recycled just as easily as most of aluminium. But until today, only 10% of plastics are recycled effectively, leaving huge quantities of valuable material dumped in the environment or ending up in landfill 
lost for any useful material cycle, but instead putting the environment and precious natural resources at risk. Our planet calls for action. Packaging needs to change. So, how about starting a whole new era of packaging? Creating compostable and recyclable alternatives. Like most of our aluminum made innovations or upcoming film solutions. And promoting the value of a circular economy. Constancia Flexibles will get you ready to pack and grow sustainably. Discover the more planet friendly way. Constancia Ecolutions. Packaging solutions designed to protect products and resources. Constancia Ecolutions. Change your packaging. Change the world. So we're speaking about changing the world uh, with our Ecolutions and We'd like to show this uh, on an example with chocolate. So this is how a chocolate shelf uh, typically looks today. Ryan? So you see the packaging is full of cardboard displays with uh, plastic wrapped chocolate inside. And how did we get there? It wasn't always like that. Chocolate was originally wrapped in aluminium foil, envelope wrapped or hermetically sealed, with a paper cardboard wrapped around. Next. Then it moved to flow packs. Uh, this was due to the higher production speed, and certainly the culture gives a hermetic seal, which also is good for the uh, infestation protection. But basically, the background was really. The, the higher speed of packaging here. Next slide. But still, you find chocolate, especially in the premium segment, without any barrier packaging. This raises the question, can we think chocolate packaging differently? Next slide. But before going to solutions, we'd like to look to consumer expectations here. And we see that the young generation is asking for a change, a change that should be also reflected by offerings in the supermarket. Next one. So we did a little bit of a consumer study showing that there's a rising awareness of for sustainable packaging next slide so we have uh, done a study in 2018 and already back then the vast majority of consumers stated that they pay attention to separate their garbage they prefer more eco-friendly packaging and that the more environmental friendly packaging is very important to them. Next slide. But the, the key driver for change are also the retailers. How do they influence the packaging uh, and the products in their shelves? They are pushing materials that are good for recycling, which is specifically glass, paper, aluminum, metal, and non-mixed plastics. So here, preferably polyethylene. Next slide. So definitely the packaging has to do its job and product the product. You have to choose the right barrier for, for your product, uh, but this is the time now to rethink the actual way to doing doing this and test the really necessary to reduce the amount of packaging and to change for a more recyclable alternative. Next one. So I think Ryan, this is your turn. Yes, uh, so we have a poll question. Um, can you hear me? 
Can you speak a little louder? Hi, all right, so we have a poll question for everyone to interact with that's up on the screen at the moment right now. And the question is, are you planning to change your packaging until 2025? The answers uh, that you have in front of you are, yes, I am interested, uh, maybe I am browsing the market, or no, I am happy with what I am using now. Uh, please take a moment to answer appropriately. Uh, the first answer option being, yes, I'm interested, followed by maybe I'm browsing the market, and no, I am happy with what I am using now. It looks like the majority of you have uh, answered, so let's go ahead and take a look at those results. 83% coming in at, uh, yes, you're interested. 8% uh, following for both uh, the, the second answer, maybe I'm browsing the market, and the third answer of no, I'm happy with what I'm using now. Thank you very much for your participation. It's back to you, Frank. Actually, I believe uh, Heike is uh, going to speak now. Yes, it's my turn. So welcome. So thanks for your answers on the previous question. So whatever you have answered to the question before, I think let us show you if you are on the sustainable way or if there's more in for you to challenge your current packaging. So our mission, we think packaging for us means that we are determined to transform every single challenge into a positive, sustainable, and meaningful contribution to our customers and the environment. So that makes people's lives healthier, better and safer and packaging that is more planet friendly. Next. Our vision as Constancia, we envision a world in which packaging provides people with the highest benefit at lowest impact on the environment. Next. And driving a vision forward is also sharing a vision with others and collaborating along different channels. So uh, supply chain, sourcing, building transparency and public reporting. And that's why Constance is also part in the selected, um, also on one of the 50 global companies in an international sustainability and climate initiative. And this is strongly supported by the United Nations. Next. So our way forward on eco-friendly solution or next, or how we like to call it, the ecolution for a better tomorrow. Next. So we say ecolution is our commitment to evolve more sustainable packaging solution. Next. So we understand that choosing for a packaging is not that easy anymore. So different factors come into play. So when you look about barrier needs and costs, but also further ones like distribution channels, so the e-commerce channels, or the fit to an image. So for example, when you would like to uh, promote your brand in a more luxury and then to environmental way or shiny or matte, there are different requests. But finally, you need to understand the target group of your brand and product. And also now, which is more and more important, the perception of specific packaging materials. Next. So what we would like to invite or where we would like to invite you now is uh, to our journey on the evolution. So what we present in today is a high barrier solution for paper and we have further things to follow where we will present dates, not today, but in the future. Next. So Constanze is the sustainable high barrier solution provider. So we aim for satisfying best the needs of the product and target groups with high barrier properties. Is this identified? We find the right material delivering those. So we believe in sustainable high barrier solution with the highest quality and state of the art technology. 
our expertise is the variety of packaging materials. And this is long-term recyclability proven by material like aluminium, which you see here, high barrier innovative mono PE, or reinvented materials like the paper, enhanced with barrier technologies. Next. So I will hand over to our paper expert, Frank, and he will go in more detail on what it says on paper. Thanks a lot, Heike. So let's speak about uh, one of our evolutions, which is paper. Next, please. And to demonstrate what paper can do, we, we picked a product and um, as you have initially seen, this is uh, chocolate here. This is just to demonstrate the, the possibility of what we could do today with paper. Next one. So we have um, classified our papers into um, three different uh, barrier classes. So uh, our ecolutions are named Eco Paper, Eco Paper Plus, and Eco Paper High Plus. Next one. And we've chosen chocolate because it seems ideal for for a paper packaging uh, chocolate is uh, a product that uh, has antioxidants and these antioxidants protecting the the chocolate against oxidation and chocolate is yeah containing fat and the fat is a very good water vapor barrier so all that chocolate needs is a light barrier, uh, certainly a grease barrier, and finally a very good aroma barrier. Next one. So here you can see our eco paper range. So our standard eco paper uh, has um, certainly all the certificates. It's um, possible to, to have a good printability. We can offer that in uh, uh, white or um, in brownish. Also, uh, we can offer a gloss or a matte finish. It is suitable for heat or cold seal pouches or bags. Uh, then the Eco Paper Plus, in addition, has a very good fat barrier. And the Eco Paper High Plus, uh, in addition, contains then uh, a good oxygen and water vapor barrier. Next one. So for chocolate wrapper, we would recommend to use the Eco Paper Plus. So this has this grade has the good uh, aroma and Bosch Moore barrier, has a very good grease barrier, and together with the cold seal. We have tested it on modern high-speed lines, achieving a very good efficiency there. And we can certify that the material is suitable for direct food contact. Finally, we certainly have received uh, a certificate for recycling with this material. Next one. The Eco Paper High Plus we would recommend for even more demanding products like muesli bars or with chocolates that have um, very sensitive uh, ingredients like wafers. Uh, so here you would need, in addition to the grease barrier and the aroma barrier, a degree of oxygen and moisture protection. So here we can also offer um, cold or even heat seal. Next one. So this slide just shows the different formats that we have tested. So from a four side seal pouch to 
doy bag to uh, flow pack. So all different kinds of uh, formats that we have tested so far. And um, you know, paper is practically able to uh, match all these formats. Next slide, please. So we have tried to, to classify and to bring a, you know, to sort products to, to the single solutions. So for the eco paper, we would recommend to have this eco paper for very simple products like sugar or for products that are uh, already packed inside. So it's just the outer pack or multi-pack. The eco paper plus, as said, we would recommend for confectionery chocolate, for confectionery sweets or ice cream. And the eco paper plus, then finally, for cereal bars or gums, uh, so products that are really more sensitive, could also be uh, chocolate with some uh, sensitive inclusions. Next slide. So here we just want to show that for products that have an even higher barrier need, we would recommend rather to go for our Ecolum, which is the Mono PE, but that's a separate webinar that we'll offer in the coming weeks. Next slide. So back to paper and the our paper evolutions. Next slide. So I'd like to, to highlight first of all that all eco papers are certified for direct food contact. So we have the uh, um, documents here for the FDA or for the EU, uh, also for Asia and um, Australia. Next slide. Then we have uh, done a couple of printing trials with paper and it's certainly important to um, have a printable uh, or to print a readable barcode uh, to, to have you know good text readability and to have nice half tones to uh, replicate some some photos depending on the paper quality you can choose for a little bit rougher surface that gives you a little bit uh, more natural appearance or a very smooth uh, paper and together with a glossy over lacquer, this could even look like a conventional plastic film. So we would recommend here very much to use um, a matte varnish on the outside to emphasize the, the naturality of, of paper. And uh, we can you know, offer you a perfect and excellent print quality. Thank you very much. Next slide. Here we'd like to demonstrate that we have tested it on several packaging machines from leading machine manufacturers. So we started testing on a vertical machine. Um, we found out that uh, you have to adapt probably the forming shoulder a little bit and the, the seal times. Um, but we achieved the full efficiency as you are used to have. The same uh, with the horizontal flow packers. On horizontal flow packers, we have achieved um, speeds of 60 meters a minute uh, easily. So speed is not uh, a limitation. It is the forming shoulder again that has to be a little bit modified to make paper working on these machines. Next slide. So together with, I would say, the, the world's leading uh, machine manufacturer, Syntagon, we have uh, done successfully some high-speed packaging tests uh, with excellent results. Slide. So we are certified to convert FSC and or PEFC materials. Next slide. So this means the eco paper is from sustainable resources. So FSC forest management certification confirms that the forest is being managed in a way 
that preserves biological diversity and benefits the lives of local people and workers, while ensuring this, it sustains the economic uh, viability. Next slide. And certainly uh, we have given our converted materials to external institutes and they have certified that the, um, our papers, even after conversion, so after printing and applying a sealing lacquer or sealing medium, uh, are, is certified for recycling. So that's probably the one of the biggest advantages uh, of our paper evolutions that consumers supporting the collection and recycling because they understand uh, the paper waste stream. So for end consumers, eco paper means after usage, they can just throw it into the paper waste bin. And that's very easy to communicate. Next slide. So for the recyclability, we are following the PTS2, uh, which analyzes the paper and then classifies into recyclable, recyclable but uh, you know not so good or not recyclable. And we have always achieved the full recyclability of our paper solutions. Next slide. Yes, finally, I would like to, to mention a little bit of a success story. We have successfully launched already a few paper evolutions, some in small test markets from New Zealand to Spain and Germany, others for pr product launches. Um, due to confidentiality agreements, we're not allowed to show all our successes. But um, I'm sure you, you have uh, already Googled or seen a couple of solutions in the market already. Next one. So the key success is that paper matches the consumer trend. Paper is viewed as a low environmental impact material. And the good thing about it, other than with other materials, consumer understand how the recycling works. Next one. Brian. All right, we have another poll question for everyone to interact with at the moment. It should be up on your screen right now. The question asks, would you be open to replace existing packaging structure with more sustainable ones? Your answers are simple, it's yes or no. So please take a moment to consider uh, for yourselves, for your company, for your organization, uh, to answer how you feel about replacing existing packaging structure with more sustainable ones. Is that a yes or a no? It looks like actually the majority of you have gone ahead and already submitted your vote. So let's take a look at the results. Wonderful. 96% of you have come in saying yes, and then 4% saying no. Thank you so much for your participation. It's back to you then, Frank. So it's I me. Never. Yes. So back again. Thanks, Frank, for uh, the great um, overview of all the paper solutions we can provide. And coming back um, to some insights uh, to consumer trends, I think you will first start with yourself. So think about yourself, how much has changed in the buying process. And here, even if this is from 2018, 54% consider the packaging of products during shopping. And up to 15% would pay more for a more sustainable packaging. 15% regard the material and it look and feel as most important criteria of more sustainable solution. Next slide. The world is changing and people's behavior are changing. So people requesting more um, is more sustainable uh, solutions. So the awareness for sustainable packaging is constantly rising. And this is why you need to prepare your journey on being more sustainable. 
Next slide. Saying that uh, we have made uh, examples on chocolate and I would like to uh, give also some insights on chocolate confectionery market trends. So looking in more detail on chocolate confectionery, the market is showing that there are some possibility to change. So how does Eco Paper answer the chocolate confectionery market trends? So if we look to premiumization with consumers, becoming more sophisticated in their choice of indulgence and also natural ingredients that appeal to parents or the high quality of the ingredients. And flexible packaging remains most important pack type and the companies present in this category continue to add value to their brands. And this via the use of alternative pack types that fits the trends. Next. So Constanza can be your sustainable high barrier solution provider in all aspects. Yeah, so let us be part of your journey to a more sustainable packaging. Click. So think about your brand strategy. What would your consumer expect from your brand? Next. So choose your plant friendly way and act sustainably, package responsibly. So thank you very much for your attendance. Yes, well, thank you very much for that insightful presentation. I would like to invite our audience to continue sending their questions or comments right now using the questions window for the Q&A portion of this webinar. I have already <coughs> received some questions, so we'll get started with those. Our very first question asks, considering that in countries such as Germany, the minimum percentage of paper required to be considered as a paper packaging is 95%. The question is, would you accomplish this with this percentage? I think this is a very good question, um, but I may answer this. So the 95% um, does not include uh, any kind of printing or sealing layer. We add this to our paper solutions and depending on your graphic design and your need for the thickness of paper, we would say, yes, we can accomplish this. Excellent, thank you very much. Our next question asks, what will happen with the non-paper layers in the recycling process? So typically in the recycling process, you, um, you, you, um, you repulp the paper, gain back the fibers, and there is certainly some waste that is afterwards incinerated. Excellent, thank you very much. Our next question asks, how fast can I have some sample material to run on my machines? So I think this is, um, this is a very good question. Uh, even with the actual situation with COVID-19, we're still fully operating. So um, we have actually lots of projects already, uh, but we are, um, able to 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 uh, yeah, help you with maybe trial material um, within the next uh, five to seven weeks actually so before doing this we would certainly need to have a little bit of a feedback from your side about what kind of product uh, to choose the, the right material and we certainly need a little bit information about uh, the width and uh, real dimensions but all in all, we are happy to help you very quickly with, with some trial material. Excellent. Thank you very much for that answer. Our next question would like to know, on how many projects are you currently working? So actually, we are working on um, more than 50 projects um, regarding paper. 
So from uh, several sides of Constantia, we're, we're trying to help customers to do trials, uh, shelf life testing with paper. And um, as I said, we already have um, a few launches in some countries. Um, so I think we we still have a little bit capacity here. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent, thank you very much. Our next question asks, is there a high customer interest in paper packaging? So as just Frank said, um, yeah, we have a huge pipeline and we see that it's a raising. So especially in the last month, I would say that um, there's a really high, high request to move things to paper. Very good, thank you. Our next question would like to know, does Constancia have enough free capacity slash raw materials for paper packaging during COVID-19? I think I've answered that already, but um, yeah, still during COVID-19, you know that, um, I mean, our, our sites are fully operational. It may come to a few delays due to um, um transport so some sometimes we have uh, a little delay due to uh, uh due to the fact that trucks are stopped at the borders uh takes a little longer to to dispatch material but we're fully operational yeah next one Thank you very much uh, for that answer and for all of the answers. However, unfortunately, we have reached the end of the question and answer period. Uh, I want to thank everyone who has uh, submitted a question. Um, unfortunately, uh, we couldn't get to all of them. However, if you've got some more, uh, you can submit to the uh, email addresses that you see above on your screen. Um, or, of course, Constancia Flexibles may follow up with you after the presentation. I want to thank everyone for participating in today's webinar. You will be receiving a follow-up email from Xtalks with access to the recorded archive for this event. A survey window will be popping up on your exit, and your participation is appreciated as it will help us to improve our webinars. Now, I'm about to send you a link in the chat box, and with this link, you'll be able to view the recording of this event on that page uh, when you uh, register for the webinar, as you have, and you can share this link However, whoever you share it with must web, uh, register as well. So please, of course, I encourage you to share that link. Now, please join us in thanking our speakers, Heike Mann and Frank Egger. We hope that you found the webinar informative. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for coming.